What's going on, everybody? John Stamper from John Stamper Media. We are here. It is Ditron Dental USA. It's their 2024 National Symposium. It's the beginning of the year. A whole room of clinicians came around from, from the country uh, when we're, we're thinking about some of the brightest minds in implant dentistry. So very honored and excited. As promised, we want to continue to spend some time with the great clinicians that are here educating all of the doctors. So very excited to have from Philadelphia, Dr. Simon O. Oh. Dr. O, oh, how are you doing? Great. Great to be here. Thank you so much for just taking a couple of minutes. Like you just came off stage. Uh, share with everybody a little bit about what you talked about today. Yeah, so what I was tasked with was the sort of rapid approach to um, maxillary reconstruction. So uh, taking a patient that needed uh, all of their teeth out or already had all their teeth out and then putting them into a fixed implant supported prosthesis in a very rapid fashion. So what we did was we used the case of a patient that was traveling from Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, that way, um, it sort of demonstrates, you know, we have a demand for convenience and a uh, few appointments. Yeah. And we did that all through technology. Can you talk a little bit about just how the demand of the patient, I mean, it's a great example, like has changed over the last couple of years, just as far as like their time, you know, making things convenient. And, and like you mentioned, kind of tying the technology together with all of that. Oh, you know, everyone's in a rush these days. There's people that are working two jobs, three jobs, just trying to make ends meet. And, you know, it's it's paramount to make it as convenient as possible for this. Yeah. And so the minimal amount of appointments, the least amount of time, uh, while not compromising on quality of care, is the most important thing. And so that's what we've done. And, you know, we've done that through technology, techniques, and uh, things like that. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the technology and, and I think m more along the lines of like what you're really excited about, like some of the some of the pieces of technology that have really made this possible? Yeah, so we use a, a, a lot of different technologies. One, we use uh, intraoral scanning with an intraoral scanner, facial scanning with a facial scanner, uh, cone beam cat scans. Mm -hmm. We use uh, uh, bite force technology as mm -hmm. well. Uh, and then from there, you know, after the surgery, we, uh, we uh, fabricate all the prosthetics with 3D printing technology. So everything is done very fast in the office and uh, it's very optimal and, and very sort of uh, convenient. How has that changed the technique of, of doing a lot of this work? I mean, it's, it's changed everything. You know, uh, before there used to be a lot of front-loaded data collection, but now it's, we can do it in one appointment with all these pieces of technology. And then we just have more homework to do while we're at home. But it's, it's okay, you know, fact of the matter is, is that these patients can get done in such a fast way uh, without inconveniencing them from their daily life yeah. uh, that it, it, it's really attractive for people. Can you touch on uh, with, with the doctors that you speak to, I know you, you speak all over, making such an impact just on the educational side, what are a lot of the questions that doctors ask you now, like as far as some of their challenges and things like that in this space? Sometimes patients or doctors ask me, uh, you know, how much does the equipment cost? Is yeah. it worth the expenditure? Uh, and, you know, what it really comes down to is uh, making the numbers work. And so, you know, you probably do need to have a minimum number of cases per month that you do. Right. Uh, and all that ties into your marketing and your business plan uh, as, as a whole. And the learning curve to, to do more of this? Learning curve can be a little steep, but you know, uh, just persistence, 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 you know, and you'll get there. It's just a matter of uh, diving in, jumping in with both feet, and you know, you'll, you'll get there. So when you look out the next six months, you know, to, 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 to the next 12 months, like what are you most excited about when you, when you look at, you know, dentistry ahead? Oh, just the technology. I mean, uh, things are at an inflection point, I think right now. And uh, you know, with, everything that's coming out, everything that's being researched, it's just gonna become more and more optimized. And so accuracy is gonna improve, efficiency is gonna improve, uh, and then outcomes are gonna improve. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Speaking of outcomes as we wrap, can you talk a little bit about these patients and being able to do this, make it convenient for them? What do you hear on that side, right? I mean, I think that, you know, we always get really excited to dentistry about like, you know, the dental side, um, but from the patient side, I mean, making a huge difference. Oh yeah, I mean, it's it's changing their entire outlook a lot of times. You know, patients who have just bad teeth or ill, you know, ill-fitting dentures, their lives are pretty rough. We just don't know about it. It's the fact of the matter is, is one in ten Americans don't have teeth. Yeah. And uh, even more should not have teeth. You know, some people just don't take care of them, and so. Uh, for those people, uh, their, their lives are really impacted by the fact that they don't have something to be proud of. Yeah. And so with those people working all these jobs, it's really important that we're able to service them and get them what they need uh, in order to feel better about themselves uh, and live a good life. Yeah. 
I know the Dietron team was really excited to have you here, you know, and present as they, as they kick off this symposium. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And uh, best of luck in 2024. Thanks so much. Thanks, Dr. O. You got it. <laughs>